everyone. Good morning. How are you, everyone? Yeah. 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 We are in an hour and I don't know what you said. I don't know when I lost it. Yeah, <laughs> it's gone. Uh, we're an hour and 25 minutes into summer school. How do you feel? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, towing the line. Come on. What's up? Woo with me. Woo. Uh, oh. This is awesome. Uh, the days of numbering at this school sadly are numbered. Um, so this is a chance for me to finish after doing this for many, many years with you. So I look forward to getting to know you better and to learning together. So let's rock this out Woo. today. Uh, yay math. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Yeah, you're holding like that. <laughs> With Kermit references. Okay, so this is called linear measure. It's actually pretty straightforward. I think you'll, it'll make sense to you, so give it a whirlsy. Please draw this line segment. Okay, let's call it AB. It's line segment AB. Now, if you want it to be logical, actually, you know what? I'm going to change it. Sorry, sorry. Ah, no. uh, here, here. Or you can extend it if you want it. You can yeah. extend it. You can extend it. So I want to just get this oh. in alphabetic order so that you could uh, it makes sense to you. Now, logically speaking, if A B was five, let's say inches, and B C was two inches. We could put over here, AC, the segment, equals how many? Seven. Seven. Two. Seven. Oh. <laughs> that was oh, did, I'll, I'll say, if I said BC, <laughs> yes, you'd be right. Yes, I got that now. If I, I said BC, you'd be right. Didn't see it said it. Yeah. You know, forgiveness, I ask for, please, in my misplaced participles. I should say, I ask for forgiveness, sorry. Because I've had people do that before. Where I'm like, and five plus eight is? And they're like, what? And it makes me laugh. But if I said BC, that would be two. AC, are we comfortable with AC being seven? Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, that's pretty much the idea of what we're doing, okay? It won't take that long. Try, for example, one of these. Let's go with um, DEF. There we go. <laughs> I'm oh. sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you're a DEF discriminator like me. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 It's too bad. <laughs> let's try this as x plus three. Ooh. And so let's say good. ten. Oh, no. And let's say the whole thing is twenty. Not drawn to scale. Okay. So that's something we'll learn. This isn't exactly a perfect figure in terms of what looks longer is longer. That's not the case. So there are several ways to do this, okay? Multiple ways to the mountaintop. We'll take some hands. Does anyone know what X is right off the bat? Yeah, what is it? Seven. Seven, how'd you get it? It's uh, three plus 10 is 13, and then you need to add. Seven. Okay, so you want it this way. You want these two together yeah. at 13, add it a seven to 13. Now I'll make 20, which is this. Fine method, yes. I mean, 10 minus 3 is 7. 10 minus 3. So you said, like, oh, you said like 7 three. plus 3. Is so three 7 plus 3 here is 10. Yeah. Which this needs to be 10 type of thing? Yeah. Is that the idea? Yeah. This is already 10? Yeah. This picture is not good, but it proves a point that the pictures won't always line up. But yes. Other methods? Yes, we'll go over here. Um, if you do, you have to do. Um, you're trying to get to 10 because you're trying to get to 20 and 10 plus 10 is 20. Right. So to to what time, I mean, what plus three is 10, so right. it's seven. So. Yes, so an additional 10 to the 10 would make 20. That's great. Do you have one more for us? No, I was gonna, I was gonna say Pretty much a rendition of that. Yes, yes, so X is seven. Now what I'll get you in the mood for is that if you did not see that X was seven right away, you're at the liberty to create equations. It would be something like that. So go over here, so that would be X, Plus three. Go ahead. What? Plus ten. Plus ten oh. would have to result in twenty. Twenty. Very good. So that'd be the equation, and you'd see that x is seven from there. Okay. That's the idea. That's the idea. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, it doesn't have cologne in there. I asked for that. <laughs> Messed up. Oh, I made it! <laughs> Good. Oh, dang it. So let's go with these segments here. Uh, hook it up with 3x. Let's go with 5x plus 8. And, um. Oh, I got this. And then let's make this. Now, look, it might result in a decimal. It's all good. Oh. Uh, 10x plus. Uh, Is that the middle point? Like that? Not necessarily. No. Good question. Good question. I did not designate this as the middle yet. If, if I did something like this, this would be the middle, okay? Don't write this, just observe. If I mark this segment the same as this segment, then we can imply that this piece equals that piece, correct? Uh -huh. And then we'd actually be able to say that that's true. But I did not mark it as such, so we can't. Take it off, 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 off. And so I see some hands already, that's great. In terms of, remember before when you said x was seven, many of you saw that x was seven, it was very intuitive, which is great. This is less intuitive, and it's like, wait, how do you get what x needs to be? So I'm feeling like the equation as the way I go. <laughs> you heard about vocal fry? No. no. Vocal fry is like something that's studied that more of the females tend to do. Um, and they just, when they end their sentence, their wise trials off and fries their vocal cords. Like this. Think Kardashians in the confessional. <laughs> I was with her at the Calabasas Commons, and I met my agent. It's called Vocal Fry. YouTube it. Uh, equation, please. And don't do Vocal Fry. Please, hit. 5x plus 8 plus 3x equals 10x plus 18. Bravo. 5x plus 8 plus 3x equals 10x plus 18. Any questions? I don't quite understand how she got that. Thank you for asking. Now, do you agree that this piece and this piece together make the whole thing? <laughs> I think he's going to have his aha moment in like maybe one or two minutes. So it's a good, do you agree that this is a whole line, right? Yes. This is the whole line. I can take the arrows off. And uh, let's go here. Minus. It's going to become negative, so I screwed up the numbers, if you noticed. Do um, so you agree that this whole red line is longer than this? Yes. Is that safe to say? Is this whole red line longer than this? Yes. Do you agree that these two little doodads together make big bad voodoo daddy? Yeah. Like this whole thing. So that's what she did. She took this piece and added it to this piece, and together they make the red one. What Just does that equal 18 though? 10x plus 18, 18 is the length of the whole line. Oh, 10x okay. plus 18. 10x plus 18 is the whole line. I'm glad you're asking. It's important to ask these questions. Do you see it? Not quite. Not quite? Not can someone else explain it? We can go over here, go ahead. Well, nice I have a question, but I'll explain it. Please, please say that. Okay, so basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to add the, the line on top, like with 3x plus 5x plus 8, yeah. all together, and the bottom, the red part, that, that's what it equals. It equals 10x plus 18. No, still don't have it. No, thank you for being honest. We're going to hook you up. Let me try one more. Okay. Um, cornflakes. Can I call you cornflakes? No, you can't. Okay. Help out with the explanation. <laughs> explanation. The explanation using an equation here. I'll start you off. Star. Go ahead. Can okay. you do it? Yeah. Star. So if you have a star, and I think that's a moon slash yep. banana. Um, <laughs> banana, honestly. Okay. So if 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 there's a 
a part of it's a star and part of it's a banana, and we know that the whole thing is a smiley face, and we have to figure out how we got how the star and the banana add up to get the smiley face. That's exactly right. Isn't it just equal? Yes. It's just more divisible. I love when students use the word just. So you're saying the star plus the banana, those two lengths together added up make smiley. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Okay, I can work with you privately unless it's, a definite it's, it's not a matter of like I don't understand how they go together. It's just the math itself, like five x oh, the, plus the, eight. Oh, the oh the math. Yeah. Oh, let's do the math. It's just like I five x plus eight is not eighteen. So, so I'm just like, are you well, are you trying to figure out what x, x is? Yeah, should have said solve for x. Solve it. Solve for x. And did you notice that it's negative? So I screwed it up, maybe. Yeah. yeah and then know. solve for the segments. It's. So we may need to uh, change the problem to so make this. No, so I didn't get a negative. You didn't get a negative? I got a negative. I got a negative five. Add, you add, oh, I didn't even do it. No, it's <laughs> negative. You add five plus three. I messed and, it up. And then you subtract the eight from no, the be, ten. No, it'd be seven. No, you no, still have no, to do the problem. I mean, so this is uh, five x plus two x is eight x, right? Yeah. Eight x plus eight. And that equals ten x oh, plus eighteen. So then subtract. So, eight plus eight. Subtract eight on both sides. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you're looking at it. Subtract eight on both sides. So that would become eight x. No, two x. No, then subtract the x's. I just subtracted the numbers. Oh, eight x. Okay, so that'd be ten. Eight x. That would be ten, right? So that's eight x equals ten x plus ten. See that? It's going to screw up. So subtract 10x, this will be negative 2x equals 10, and now x is a negative. In a way, I'm happy it happened. Wait, can't you just subtract the 8? And that'll be 0. That'll be 0. I want to get x by itself. Look, look, let me show you something that's important. My mistake actually can help us because this is negative 2x equals 10, and x is negative 5. Can x in life, can a number be negative 5 in life? No. no. In life, in general, yeah, in yeah, algebra, yeah, yeah. in algebra, x can be negative. But in this class for geometry, if you plugged in x as negative five here, how long is this? It can't be a negative one. It would be negative fifteen, which would be you can't have a negative length. There's not like negative five feet between us. It would make no sense. Please again. All right. Uh, so just in like general, yeah. would there ever be like two of the red things on top and bottom? No. How could it equal? Uh, it, 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 it can't equal two things. So like, yeah, let's just say it's ten x no. on the top, yeah. and then no. on the bottom it's ten x plus eighteen. Well, no, ten x can never equal ten x plus eighteen. Well, like uh, I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> let's just say, okay, let's just like use letters. Like, right. you want to draw a line? You'll tell me. Yeah, I do. Okay. So this would be wrong. I would have to give you different numbers to make x a positive thing. But the setup is the most important. We got the setup right. Are we understanding at least the algebra behind solving for x? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, so was that your original question? Yeah. How to solve it? It wasn't so much like I get like star and banana equals. equals like, that's important. I'm glad. But just like I was confused about it. what to do from there. What? You're, you're confused. What to do from there? Yeah. I didn't. I just didn't know. I forgot to plug in the x and stuff. Okay. So. Gotcha. Do you have a follow up? Or I haven't forgotten. Why does it equal an equation and not like a number? I know it's weird. <laughs> It is a number, actually. Can I give you an example that actually works, and then we'll, we'll get it to the end? Okay. We'll actually use yours. We'll use yours as an example, and then we'll, we'll conclude on it. Yeah. So great. It's so great. <laughs> Definitely old school. You burn more calories. Woo! Okay. So I'll draw a line. There's a segment. Would you like me to call it something or split uh, it somewhere? Okay, so like A, and then in the middle it would be B, yep. and then at the end it would be C. Sounds good. And then at the top. Yep. This A, B is? Yeah. It would be like uh, B, E. Oh, uh, okay. You want to, oh, yeah. I don't want to call it something else. Well, like, like the line, the linear measure at the bottom would that be like a different letter? No, it's just the length. Oh. How far? Let, you could call it like 5x or okay. 9 plus x or whatever. So you have 
So you want to put something in? Yeah. Okay, so 5x. 5x, sure. And then... And then we would like maybe need something like this. Yeah. Yeah. We could do like... Um, tell you what, okay, I have an idea. I'll, I'll, I'll create a problem like this. Cool. That's so it's like... Um, AB is half AC. Okay? AB equals 5x and AC equals 10x squared. I don't want to put a square down on this one. Um, I'll make it something more simplistical. Let's go with like 6x minus and how's that half? Is it? Let's go. You get half. Why is it? I got you. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're totally right. It's um, they seize the whole thing. So if you. There you go. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so try that. This will be our last problem. A, B is half of A, C. A, B is 5X. A, C is 11X minus 8. Is that S or 5? Five? 5. 5. 5. We should add it. So we should write 11X minus 8 on top. Would you like to? Yes. So that brings us to the next thing. Please, this is our first day. This is geometry. Pictures, pictures, so important. So important, right? That's why Instagram is winning <laughs> and Facebook is not. Uh, because while Facebook has pictures, Instagram says pictures first and foremost and only. Facebook owns Instagram though. Well, yeah, sure, okay, so they all win. <laughs> but, you know, your thing, same with Snapchat, right? That's your boss now, Snapchat, pictures, videos. Why are you looking at me blankly? Am I, am I out of the loop or something? Is there a new one? Is there a new one? What's the new one? Is it like Twiddle Dad or something? Yeah, you know. Oh, it's EA Math, yeah. There's an app for that. So let's do. Wait, do you actually have an app? Yeah, there's one. Wait, what? Go to the app store, whatever, buy it today. It's a good one. Go to the app. So this is 11x minus 8. Now, by putting this in, you recognize how. Right, see that? So what'll happen is that you'll get this picture. Or not this, you'll get this data. Right? Imagine just getting this. You have to draw then. But you I have to draw. Understand. Does that make sense? No. If you draw the picture, now we can create an equation. A, B is half of AC. So if A, B is 5x, what's this? Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Because this is. Oh, half. so they're both. Five. No, what? Would no, that make no. sense that they're both 5x? It's half. Oh, because the whole. So it's. Oh, wait, no. Is it 10x? Yeah. Oh. Do you agree that if AB is half of the whole line, yeah, yeah. then these two halves are the same? Yeah. Halves are the same. So 5x, five so five you could put here, very nice. Now, once you have an image like this, in my mind, the, hard, the hardest part of the problem is done because you have a picture that you can create yourselves, um, someone to offer equation status. What do you think, sir? Can you hit up the equation for us? Okay. Do you th is the green one the longest? Yeah. Is the red? Uh, oh. Is this red part the same as the green? No. This red part here? No, it's not. You're right. Trust your vision. Is this red part the same as the green? No. Okay. What about together? Are the two reds together the same as the green? Yeah. Then make an equation, adding the two red things and, and equaling so it to the green. Eleven x minus eight equals ten x. How's that feel? Better, okay. Optimisticos. <laughs> 11x minus 8 equals 5x plus 5x, which he offered is 10x. Does that make sense? Any questions? Questions about this process? Okay, 11x minus 8, see if I got it right this time, equals 10x. I think we're good. Minus 11x. The reason I'm doing this is to get x by itself. And this is go, not really. This is negative eight. What's this become, friends? Negative, negative x. Thus, x equals eight. 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 Very good. So if the problem was just asking for x, we would be done. However, 
The last piece is, is to solve for the segments, each segment, how long they are. We how long that. they are. What's that? I thought we already knew that. We don't, interestingly, we don't. We know what X is, but I bet you could tell us do we have blue in the house? Yeah. Good. If X was eight, five times eight. This becomes say loud? Forty. Forty. This is forty. Wait, it's not negative eight? Negative X is negative eight. Oh. So X is positive eight. I got the problem right. Wait, this time. so A, B, and B, C are segments? Yeah. They are. Wait, why do I forty? Is A B C because five times A C is a segment too. Five times what? You could call it ABC, but technically it's AC because you need just two points for a segment. Yes, if X was 8, friends, 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 8 is? 40. 40. 40 plus 40 is 80. This whole thing should be 80. It really should. Now, here's the question. Student, let's say I'm taking a test or something. I want to check my work. If I plug in 8 here for X, shouldn't I get 80? Shouldn't I get 80? I should get 40 and 40? Yeah. So if I get 80, then I know I did the problem right. Yeah. Can you do it for us? Hit. What am I asking you to do? Um, solve for x and then... We're, we're, I know what you mean. We already solved for x. Yeah. Can you rephrase? I know what you mean. And then you put 80 into the equation? No. Try again. What I did put, we... You, what? Put, oh, you put 8 into the equation. Very good. You plug in x is 8. Go. So do it's 88 that. minus 8 is Makes? 80. Cool. And that fits because 88 minus 8 is 80, which we know should be 40 and 40 together, so... We're, we're balling. Yes, sir. So it has to make sense for like, so like even if it equals eight, but let's just say that's not right. Or like Right, yes. If X was any other number, let's say we did something wrong. I, like I told you, I made a mistake before. Let's say one of us made a mistake and we put seven here. If we put seven here, here, and here, they would not be the same. They would not be the same. This would be 35, this would be 35, the whole thing should be 70. But if you put in seven there, you'll get um, 77 minus eight is um, 69, which is not 70. So you can see that it's not. Does that make sense? Questions, I see nodding, it's good. Feel okay? You still have the wind in your sails? Woo. Okay, drop the markers. Give yourselves a hand. Woo. Say bye everyone, bye. Bye. That's the cue to hit the record. Oh. Try it again. Awkward. Bye. Bye. Bye.